couple of days ago, I got the One UI 7 update on my Samsung S23 Ultra. Now this is a major update so it has a ton of new features and a lot of visual changes. And in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of important settings that you should tweak and turn on to get a better overall experience out of your Samsung Galaxy running the latest One UI 7. Let us start with my personal favorite, that is having the weather and the temperature information alongside the lock screen clock. To enable this, on the lock screen, keep your finger on an empty area and then unlock your phone. Now here, tap on the clock, then go to style and enable the weather information. And that's it. Now you will get to see the weather information alongside the clock on your lock screen. This is actually really nice because if you've got the weather set up as a lock screen widget, which is something that you could do on One UI 6.1, well, then you can remove this and free up space for something else. And speaking of the lock screen widgets, One UI 7 allows you to add the sound recorder button directly on the lock screen and this will allow you to record audio straight from the lock screen itself. Absolutely no need to unlock the phone. I mean, that is awesome. Okay, so I've talked about this before in one of my videos, but the thing is, I'm kind of finding it difficult getting used to the new way of opening the quick panel on One UI 7. Now look, if you're using the phone with one hand, then you have to swipe down and then swipe to the left to open the quick panel. This kind of feels unnatural because previously you could just swipe down twice to open the quick panel. See how it feels more natural. Fortunately, we can revert this back to the way it used to be. All you have to do is open the quick panel and then swipe to the left and tap on the pencil icon and then tap on panel settings. And here, change this setting from separate to together. And that's it. Now the quick panel is gonna work exactly how it used to on One UI 6.1. And with this change, you can also drop down the quick panel on the lock screen using one hand. Thing is, now your notifications and the quick panel are gonna work together. Another change that I highly recommend that you do is reposition the brightness slider along with the quick settings. You can do this by tapping on the pencil icon and then repositioning the quick settings and the brightness slider anywhere you want. You want to do this according to what's best for you but I prefer having the brightness slider at the bottom of the screen so that it's easier to change the brightness when I'm using the phone with one hand. And same goes for the quick settings. Bringing the quick settings panel down is going to make it easier to use the phone with one hand. Now, if you head on into the settings, then scroll down and tap on battery. Inside, you will find a feature called battery protection, which once enabled, stops the battery from charging beyond 80%, which is going to increase the overall lifespan of your phone's battery. And I know 80% isn't enough, especially if you use your phone a lot. So the One UI 7 update brings a new feature and now you've got the option of manually selecting the level of charge you want. So if you feel that 80% isn't enough, well now you can set this to 90% which is gonna give you more screen on time and is still gonna increase the overall lifespan of your phone's battery since it's not being charged to 100%. So after updating your phone, you must absolutely switch this feature on and configure this according to what's best for you. I suggest keeping this at 85 or 90% because that's going to give you a good balance between your screen on time and the battery's longevity. Now this is a personal choice but I feel that the icons are a little bit too big after the update. Fortunately, we can change the size of the icons by going into the home screen settings and tweaking it from over here. But now you're gonna notice that there is something wrong between the spacing of the icons. I honestly think we can fit more icons on the home as well as the app drawer. Just like how I've done on my S25 Ultra. Looks better, right? Now, unfortunately, if we head on into the home screen settings, you'll notice that we cannot fit more than five icons horizontally on our home screen. So we'll have to head on into the Galaxy Store and download something called GoodLock. And if you haven't done this already, trust me, you are missing out on a huge amount of customization. So once you've got GoodLock on your phone, head on into plugins and download the Home Up module. Inside Home Up, 
tap on home screen and enable this module. Next, you want to tap on home screen grid and change this to 6 into 6. This is going to allow you to fit 6 icons horizontally and vertically on your home screen. Next, tap on favorite max count and change this to 6 or 7. This is going to allow you to fit more icons in this bar which is at the bottom of the screen. Next, scroll down and tap on app list column and set this to 6. This is gonna allow you to fit more icons on the app's screen that you swipe up. And you wanna make these changes according to what's comfortable for you. So after making all of these changes, you're gonna notice that there is less space between the icons and you'll be able to fit more of them on a single page on your home as well as on the app drawer. And I think this looks better on the Ultra Series phones because this phone has a 6.8 inch screen. So make sense to fit more icons on a single page. And while you're here, I want you guys to go back into the GoodLock app and download the Camera Assistant add-on. The thing is, One UI 7 update unlocks a new feature which allows you to record videos directly to a USB-C flash drive. So once you've got the Camera Assistant app running, scroll down and you will see a new feature which says, Save videos to external storage. Once enabled, the next time you open the camera app and record a video, the phone is gonna automatically save that video directly onto the USB-C flash drive. And yes, the phone is able to save 4K 60fps videos directly onto the flash drive. The main advantage of this is that once you are done recording, you can remove the USB-C flash drive, plug it into your PC, and you'll see the videos that you have recorded right there on the USB drive. Super convenient, right? Now speaking of videos, one of the most annoying things on a Samsung smartphone is the way you seek through a video. The thing is, whenever you open a video, you're gonna notice there is no video seek bar and you have to tap on the film strip to expand and then you will be able to seek through a video. This is fine for shorter videos but for a longer video it gets super annoying. Fortunately, we can tweak a setting in the gallery and bring back the good old video seek bar. Let me show you how. So when you're in the gallery, tap on the hamburger menu and head on into the settings. Scroll down and open about gallery. When you're inside, repeatedly tap on the version until you see a message gallery labs is enabled. Then go back, scroll down and open Gallery Labs. Here, scroll down to One UI 3.x, change the video player mode from default to Legacy Video Seek Bar and then quit the gallery. So now when you relaunch the gallery and open a video, it's gonna show a dedicated video seek bar. In my opinion, it's easier to seek through a video through this than the film strip. Now let's go back into the gallery labs and here you can enable another feature called timeline in album. So once you enable this, whenever you open an album, so let's open the camera album, you'll notice that all your photos and videos are now grouped by date. So this is a side by side comparison and I think grouping by date is a good idea. One UI 7 also brings the ability to transcribe your phone calls and you can enable that feature by heading into the settings, then Galaxy AI and here tap on transcribe assist and you'll see a feature called auto transcribe recorded calls. After enabling, whenever you make or receive a phone call, you can tap on these three dots and select record call and the phone along with recording the call will also transcribe whatever you are saying. Okay, so here's a quick demo of the auto recording plus transcribe feature of One UI 7. And after you are done with the call, you can view your recordings and transcripts from the recent call menu. So here it is. Now obviously in this demonstration, it's not gonna work very well because both of the phones are in the same room. And I also think this might be a region locked thing because yeah, call recording isn't exactly legal in every country. So your mileage may vary. But yeah, you do have the call recording and the transcribe feature bundled along with One UI 7. This update also brings something called the now bar, which you'll see at the bottom of the lock screen and also on the always on display if you have it switched on. 
and this is gonna show you the music player controls and also a couple of other things like the turn by turn navigation and also the stopwatch but I really like the music player controls because you can also use them on the always on display eliminating the need to wake the phone up and while you're on the lock screen you can tap on the album art to expand the music player and not only that when you're using the phone there is no need to go back to the music player app you can just tap on the music player notification and the controls are gonna pop up right there on the screen i mean that is awesome and you can configure how the now bar works by going into the settings scroll down to lock screen and aod and then you'll find a menu which says now bar now this is also supposed to show you the live scores from google sports but unfortunately i have noticed that this feature does not work even though i've configured everything properly the phone still does not show the scores of a match on the now bar so let me know in the comments if you got the sports from google feature working in the now bar unfortunately it doesn't work on the s25 ultra as well but yeah this is how the now bar works and it is awesome also this weather widget comes bundled with one ui7 so if you want this pinch in on the home screen and head on into widgets scroll down to weather and from this list add the 4 into 2 weather widget and that's it and you might need to resize it and if you want to make it transparent long press on the widget head on into its settings and switch off background this is gonna make the widget transparent looks nice right and other than that they have also completely redesigned the camera ui it's really the same features the only difference that you're gonna notice is the position of some of the icons are a bit different um yeah so i think we're gonna end the video here if you have enjoyed make sure to hit the like button share the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy videos like these and this is tech guy charlie signing off